And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 24th of April, 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here. I trust you had a good weekend. Let's have a look at what's happening in markets today. Of course, on Friday, there was a choppy session in the US. All major indices ended up closing mildly positive, suggesting a little bit of earnings optimism uh, kicking around. It is a big week. We do see many of the S&P 500 companies reporting this week, including some big tech and we also got some key data at the end of the week. US futures are down slightly in the early part of the Asian session. Asian markets cautious at this stage. The ASX is down around 0.2%, but it is mainly materials and energy which are pulling the market down. European markets are pointing to a slightly higher open at this stage, but that of course may change before we get there this afternoon. And of course, the VIX is still trading around 15 month lows. The US dollar index trade near neutral on Friday. It is slightly weaker in Asia today. Not by much, but down around 0.12% when last we checked. Gold has edged lower and is nearing short-term support at 19.85. Copper is testing $4 and all is just about holding short-term support around $80 on the Brent crude CFT contract, nearing two week lower. So commodities just fading a little bit now. Bitcoin dropped again on Friday below 28,000, but it is holding in Asia today so far at that level. US earnings continue as we've already referenced. It is a quiet day today before we ramp up later in the week. We've got German business climate and Dallas manufacturing index out later. ASX is closed tomorrow, of course, due to Anzac Day. And later on in the week, the market's got to digest US GDP and PCE data. A couple of charts that caught our interest today. Uh, we're going to start by looking at the Euro Aussie on the daily chart. And you can see here we're really back testing levels not seen since July 2021. If we just pop this on a line chart uh, and put a line across, you can see we've got a severe test going on today. We'll just bring this up a little bit so you can see it better. Let's just move that line up a little bit to last week's high. Uh, and you can see we're right on that this morning in a... Another positive session, although very choppy on the Euro Aussie. You can see we are in this uptrend for right now to retest this level. So possibly a move over 164.50 would suggest we are continuing in an upwards trajectory. On the ASX, as we are looking at Kogan, uh, we have had a bounce off 342 there. Uh, you can see we're up near 360 in today's session. Now, it's worthwhile being cautious with this stock. I would suggest possibly a level of around about 367 might be the cue to start considering this as a long entry. It's not that far off there at the moment. It could well test it today. But you can see this would be a rejection of this long-term double top. If we do breach this, then we could see it up towards $4 again. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.